Untold Stories, Human Trafficking in Malawi is a book written by Maxo Matewiri, one of Malawi's activists working in rescuing victims of human trafficking. The book is rich with true stories and cases of human trafficking. Some girls from Lilongwe had an opportunity of reading this book so as to understand who can be victims of human trafficking. Before I read this book, I only thought that human trafficking is something which um, normally happens to people who come from poor backgrounds or it's something which happens to girls only because girls are victims in many areas in our country. So after reading this book, I've just realized that human trafficking can happen to both um, men and even young girls. It can also happen to boys as well and even fathers. And human trafficking, it's something which does not only affect people who come from poor backgrounds, it even affects someone who has knowledge, someone who comes from a well-to-do family, and someone who is educated. Through this book, girls are informed that though the traffickers have no tags, but they usually use persuasive ways to influence them. Actually, there is not a label, not even a sign that this person can be a trafficker because everyone in the society is a victim of being a trafficker. For example, they come in different ways. They can be means in the society that we already know, but they come in sweet talks. They can be someone else who is inviting you for a job in a certain country. They may be maybe those people offering scholarships of different universities and in different countries around the world. The book has also created awareness on how girls can escape from being trafficked or prevent the malpractice. It has made me to be aware of a lot of ways that people, girls, can be trafficked. Most of the girls can be trafficked because of poverty and because of peer pressure. So if I have self-awareness, I will know where I stand and I will no longer do as my friends are doing. And also always be aware because all these traffickers do come with sweet talks and I always be aware and always consult my parents in everything I do. For example, when they, they come as if they want to take us for scholarships, we have to first ask others or we have to do investigations on, on who the, those people are and what they do. And, if, and also we have to ask others on how we can avoid being trafficked. Girls who have had a chance of reading the Untold Stories Human Trafficking in Malawi book are very grateful to the author, Mr. Matewede, for coming up with the book as it carries more lessons to the public and venerable groups of the malpractice. To Mr. Matewede, I thank him for, I could say, removing ignorance in me because I wasn't aware. There are some things that I thought that it's just normal. And this book has opened my mind that this is human trafficking, this is human trafficking. So I thank him and I, I would say I would encourage him to be encouraging most of the girls, not even girls, but also boys, that they should know, they should be aware of what human trafficking is so that they can be, help, be able to avoid it. Uh, well, this book is nice, but uh, I would love love it and appreciate it if people who do not know that um, there is this book would read it because I know that uh, we have people in, uh, in poor areas, we have students who do not know and who have no knowledge about human trafficking. So it, I would appreciate it if people from poor backgrounds, students or anyone who, can, who, who is able to read and write um, can read this book because that person can benefit a lot from this book.